What will the future look like with intelligent machines? AI has been growing exponentially in the past decade. Artificial intelligence will probably be one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs in the 21st century. The idea of using artificial intelligence to discover alien life is not just a sci-fi fantasy anymore. It's a real possibility that's got astronomers and tech enthusiasts buzzing with excitement. Imagine this, AI, with its powerhouse abilities to crunch data, spot patterns and learn on the fly, becoming our cosmic detective in the vastness of space. AI is really being used all across the space exploration enterprise. Everything from making the spacecraft smarter, to analyzing the huge data sets on the ground, and then to operating things like the communications antennas that we need to talk to the spacecraft. First off, think about the sheer amount of data we get from space missions and telescopes like TESS, Kepler, and the James Webb Space Telescope. We're talking about a mountain of information that would take humans ages to sift through. But AI, it can zip through this data, picking out relevant signals and dumping the cosmic noise, which is super important if we're trying to catch a whisper from an alien world. Now let's talk about patterns. Space is full of them, but we're interested in the weird ones, the anomalies. AI has a knack for spotting things that don't quite fit, like strange dips in starlight that might hint at megastructures built by advanced civilizations, or unusual radio waves that aren't just random space chatter. We can train AI models to be on the lookout for these kinds of cosmic oddities, but AI isn't just about looking at what's already there. It's also about predicting where we might find signs of life. I just see it uh, as a beginning. Uh, not just this flight, but in this program, which has really been a very short piece of human history. Using what we know about life-friendly conditions, AI can simulate different scenarios, guiding our telescopes to the most promising corners of the galaxy. Now this brings us to our next point. In 2015, while a massive Earth observatory was capturing evidence of the 4D fabric of space-time, scientists embarked on an intriguing quest. They pondered whether intelligent extraterrestrial beings might have constructed an enormous scientific structure. And if so, could we possibly detect it? This speculative idea might sound like science fiction, but it's grounded in a real scientific study. The study revolves around a star known as Boyajian Star, named after the lead author of the research. Situated about 1,470 light years away, this star became the center of attention due to some unusual observations made by NASA's Kepler telescope. Researchers examining the data noted strange dips in the star's light, which sparked curiosity and a range of theories, including the possibility of an alien megastructure. This star's peculiar behavior led to widespread interest and speculation. The idea that we might have stumbled upon an alien creation was thrilling, but beyond the excitement, this situation provided a unique opportunity for scientists to explore and understand the myriad of natural phenomena occurring in our vast universe. Whether it's an alien megastructure or a natural cosmic event, Boyajian star certainly gave astronomers and space enthusiasts something extraordinary to ponder. When we use telescopes to study stars, they often detect dips in the light emitted by these stars. It's like when you're looking at a bright light bulb and suddenly someone walks in front of it, causing a brief interruption in the light you see. Generally, these dips in starlight are caused by exoplanets passing in front of their stars, but things got really interesting with Boyajian star. Unlike the usual spherical shapes we expect to cause these dips, the pattern observed at Boyajian star was different. Daniel Giles, a researcher at the SETI Institute, made an intriguing observation during the 243rd meeting of the American Astronomical Society. He said that the objects causing the dips in Boyajian star's light were not spherical, but rather appeared as a collection of panels. This unique shape led to some exciting speculations. Could it be an alien megastructure, something straight out of a sci-fi novel? This hypothesis set the astronomy world abuzz, Following the 2015 discovery, there was a flurry of activity news articles, follow-up studies, and a lot of discussions within the astronomical community. But let's cut to the chase. The eventual consensus was that these unusual light patterns were not the work of an advanced alien civilization. Instead, Giles later suggested that it was probably something much more mundane, like cosmic dust. 
Yet the very notion that it could have been something else, even briefly, captured our imagination. The story of how researchers stumbled upon the peculiar signals from Boyajian's star is almost as fascinating as the discovery itself. Daniel Giles revealed that these signals were initially overlooked in the Kepler data. It was actually citizen scientists engaged in a different quest who accidentally noticed the strange dips in light. Giles sums it up perfectly. People weren't looking. But now, that's exactly what he and his team are focused on doing. They're convinced that the key to uncovering the truth about aliens might just be hidden in plain sight within the data we've already collected. Giles and his team are now embarking on a mission to sift through the vast data collected by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. They're hunting for anomalies in starlight, dips that don't fit the usual patterns in shape, depth, or timing. These outliers in the cosmic data are their targets. The process is a blend of technology and human ingenuity. Test data provides around 60 million light curves, which are graphs showing the brightness of stars over time. Giles explains this as counting photons. To manage this colossal amount of data, they're turning to machine learning. The satellite has observed various sky sectors for about 30 days each, taking snapshots every 30 minutes. These observations have resulted in millions of light curves for stars brighter than magnitude 14. In the magnitude system, brighter objects have smaller numbers, so they have a lot of bright stars to analyze. The team's strategy involves organizing these light curves based on characteristics like shape and periodicity. Giles mentions the need for cheap metrics for initial sorting, followed by more detailed analyses for promising candidates. This two-tier approach helps in narrowing down the immense data to a manageable size, ensuring that any significant findings are not just instrumentation errors, but actual astrophysical phenomena. But here's where the human element comes in, manual inspection. Giles believes that nothing is better at finding weird stuff than the human eye. This sentiment is echoed in their approach. Despite the advances in machine learning, it's the human capacity to spot anomalies and make intuitive connections that drives this search. Giles emphasized the limits of machine learning in this context. Without a ground truth or a known standard for what constitutes weird or interesting, machines can only go so far. It's the human knack for detecting oddities and piecing together information that might eventually lead us to discover something truly extraordinary, like evidence of intelligent alien life. This blend of technology and human curiosity underscores our quest to understand the universe, a quest driven as much by our sophisticated tools as by our innate sense of wonder. The challenges scientists face in understanding and replicating human movement in robotics offer a fascinating parallel to the hurdles encountered in machine learning and artificial intelligence, particularly in the field of astronomy. It's like this. We as humans often don't fully understand the intricate details of how our bodies work. They just do. Take our fingerprints, for instance. Only recently, research has made a breakthrough in understanding how fingerprints enhance our grip. It's something we do instinctively, like holding a slippery dish just right to prevent it from falling. Scientists had to actually create a new law of physics to explain this seemingly simple human instinct. This dilemma mirrors the challenges in ML and AI. How do you program a machine to search for something we haven't discovered or don't fully understand yet? It's akin to the excitement surrounding the James Webb Space Telescope, heralded for potentially answering cosmic questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. Daniel Giles acknowledges these limitations in artificial intelligence and machine learning, but he also sees immense potential as long as we understand the specific roles these technologies play. It's a balancing act between leveraging what AI can do and recognizing its limits. But here's an interesting twist. Giles and his team are actively trying to bridge this gap by programming specific anomalies into their search algorithms. They've injected nearly 2 million artificial signals into light curves. These are the graphs that show how the brightness of stars changes over time. The goal? To see if their systems can detect these anomalies, which could indicate something unusual happening in space, like the elusive megastructures they're curious about. So far, the results haven't pointed to any alien megastructures, but they've certainly uncovered some intriguing data. It's a journey of discovery, where each new finding, even if it's not the anticipated megastructure, adds a piece to the vast puzzle of our universe. The effort underscores a crucial point in scientific exploration. Sometimes the path to uncovering big answers lies in the search for the right questions.